The question is, is Bruce ready? I think he's lost some brain cells in Virginia. I'm here with Tara Howard, who is a sixth grade instructor, I believe, in, in McGoffin County. And you've got an interesting project. Dealing, you're doing something different in your classroom. So what is the project all about? The project is called A New Reality for the Classroom. And with this project, what I wanted to do was what every teacher wants to do. We watch uh, um, videos in our class like the Magic School Bus. And we all want to be Miss Frizzle. And we want to take our kids places that they normally wouldn't get to go. Uh -huh. And so um, what I did was I applied for a grant to purchase uh, augmented reality and virtual reality uh, items. And so those items will allow the students to um, see um, maybe some complex or abstract ideas in a different way. And um, it will help them to better understand their math and science content. And it will also allow them to visit places they would not otherwise get to visit. Um, and so far, I have already seen an increased engagement. Um, I'm looking for an increased engagement and achievement, and I've already seen increased engagement. Okay, so we know you applied for the grant. You've had other grants before. Yes. We've interviewed you in the past. <laughs> And so then you ordered material. What did you What did you purchase with your thousand uh, dollars? With my thousand dollars, I purchased VR headsets. I purchased some lower end and some higher end. Uh -huh. I wanted to do a comparison and see which were more durable. And I purchased Google Cardboard. I also purchased Merge VR uh -huh. goggles, and and they're kind of a midpoint. And then I purchased an Oculus Go, which out of uh, all three of those, the Oculus Go does not require a device. Okay. And so I purchased that, and it is a little more high end. And um, the others, uh, the students will be able to bring their devices to school and insert those. I've noticed that the Verge goggles, um, the Merge goggles are actually uh, more durable. They're soft, and they were around thirty dollars, so it, okay. it was a good price point. Okay. Um, have you already, as you started this project, are there some things that you've learned that you didn't think might happen? Um, not as of yet, okay. <laughs> but but I've just had uh, most of the items for a week or a little over a okay. week. So we're still getting familiar with those items. Are the students excited about this project? Oh, they're very excited. Um, we have several more items that we've purchased. We've uh, purchased uh, holographic cubes. Um, that goes into the augmented reality, where it's basically an overlay of okay. the real world. And so they can use their cell phones for those. And uh, they hold that over the cube, and it uh, takes like even the solar system and puts it in kind of a virtual 3D display. Yeah. So what are the value of these learning innovation grants like that because would you have normally been able to do this oh no absolutely not and i would not be able to do all the things that uh, i've been able to do this year and in the past and the students really they get to um, have technology in their hands coding technology some of the stuff i purchased goes with coding as well and um, they really get a different kind of education using the same standards and so i feel like those students will be more well-rounded and prepared for the future 21st century learning. Okay. Well, Tara, thank you so much for talking about the program. I appreciate all you do in the classroom. Thank you so much. Okay. Good job.